I had to cover the bottom of the windows because the bench used to cover where it was open. These blinds are just too short to not be able to see in without covering. So I used some old capes to cover it up because see, there's, that's the mattress from the van. And I've been throwing that right down on the floor here. But you can see that uh, it's all gone. That hole was covered by, that window was covered by mirrors. I had three mirrors the length of that wall and uh, both of my chairs and back bars are right there. All my uh, sink and everything was over here. There's the camera. Some could tell me how to use that thing. I got to learn how to keep it focused and because the last time I used it, uh, all the video was blurry. Did not like that. So some going on there. I don't know a lot about photography, but that thing has a much better picture than this. Still gonna take that uh, barber pole down. Couple hooks on the wall. Of course, this was always kind of a cluttered mess. I got my, uh, <clears throat> whenever I get the California IA, got my Max fan right there in the box. Um, the bike, I need to figure out if I can find a, I need to find a, uh, a trade of a really nice bike rack for the back and bring my bike with me. And then we got in here at the studio area. Today I'll be taking that table and those monitors that are up on stands. I'll be taking those down. Uh, but the, everything's coming off that table. That's going into the shed. These are, that big bin has a bunch of clothes in it. I'll be storing things away that I don't use because I won't be taking everything on the road. But um, those two sleeping bags are going with me. That brown bag is my zero degree. The one above it's the 30 degree. So I got a couple of really great sleeping bags for the road. Probably will only take the brown one though. Um, my guitars and some of those are only some, but I have, uh, I might sell this 100 year old mandolin here, which is beautiful. I can't believe I have a hundred, hundred and three, almost hundred and four year old mandolin. Um, but so it's out of tune, but I found this at an antique store and I couldn't believe it sounded so good. And, um, I took some lessons with it and I was playing before that cause I have another mandolin, but this guy might have to go see what kind of money I can get out of it. I'm hoping around six, 700 bucks. So anyway, there's that. And I've got the uh, other guitars are all going to my mom's. Gonna stay in the cool air. And uh, there's my uh, Yuk Yakima roof uh, storage. And this refrigerator is the one I was talking about. It's just a thin guy. It's all thin. Look how little that is. But uh, it's great, it works fantastic. And uh, I just really need to take everything out of it and uh, thaw it out. And then what you got in here is just junk, like I said, junk. I gotta throw a lot of stuff out, give away stuff to Goodwill. Um, there's my Alpicool on the floor there. And that'll be going in the van. Since as you know, I got the new AC 200 Max battery. That's 2000 plus watts of power that's going to be running that bad boy and uh just things that are going away i've got obviously all my some foods and supplements for my shakes my smoothies that'll be coming with me i got overflow food just in case rice and beans those will be coming with me canned foods and stuff but mostly in the shop here it's just clutter right now it's just all over the place empty boxes that juicer right there is not coming with me, but it's like a thousand dollar juicer or something. Green Star Tribest Pro it is a commercial level uh, juicer that'll make nut butters and ice cream and everything else. Um, but my blender, hello, this bad boy is coming with me. That sucker is a that's a great blender, divide mix. I'll be making my smoothies from that, and. Um, some old collectible Mac computers that I just 
put away for one day when everyone's going, oh my gosh, what is that? I think I want that, it's so cool. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, not a whole lot left. Just gotta break that down. And then a lot of garbage and rummage and that's it. That's the walkthrough of the shop. I've got a lot of stuff in here that has just accumulated and you know the mess is because i've been going through everything trying to make sure i know what i'm throwing away what i'm giving away it's just hard to believe when you look at these places when i first got here this wall wasn't here that whole wall and top area there that wasn't there that just was a big hallway and i put a curtain up to separate it but then my buddy came over and we built that wall he did mostly texturized the whole thing did a beautiful job. I put holes all in it, but he did all this. And then we built this door back here. It used to be open to the back. And we just, I never finished painting it for whatever reason, but it's a little door. And uh, so I've had that done. So the landlords were getting an upgrade. I've got two separated rooms with locking knobs, a wall here, which I had swinging doors on and uh so i gotta figure out who to give that booze to i'm keeping one of those bottles and then the the two that are open here the 20 year sandman and the this will be a good water bottle for my spraying those uh sprayers fit right on the top of those jack daniel bottles if you ever wanted to make you a real nice spray bottle out of a jack daniel bottle Anyway, that's about it. So, we got to put that together. Get everything out of here. Today I'm taking some bulky stuff like that refrigerator. And I will take um, that chair. That chair. That's all I need is that chair. And that's all I need. And this refrigerator. And that's all I need. You ever saw that movie, The Jerk? <laughs> It's great um but yeah it's a it's bittersweet i hate moving is there anybody that you know that doesn't hate moving i hate moving i don't like it but that's where i park with me in the back yeah it's the back of the shop uh, so Sunday I'll be I'm gonna go down I got a couple things I need to do today but besides going taking trips to the dang storage unit I've got to get I've got to get a heater a heat gun and I was at a little brain moment there thinking about something else but I have all these logos on the windows and I had to put the heat gun on them and take all that off. Probably take me 10 minutes. But I'll be doing that Sunday morning early. And so when everyone gets here around noon, they'll find a blank empty spot. And I'm hoping to be not here within the shop anymore at all. So today and tomorrow is the day to get everything out. And uh, so that when I do those windows in the morning, I can be out of here before nine o'clock and be done with this joint. And then on to a stress-free lifestyle. Wouldn't that be great? With all that in mind, I am uh, packing things in the storage and gonna go get some healing. I'm gonna keep my profile low and um, spend some time on the beach, see some people that I haven't seen in a long time and uh, make some videos. And that's not that expensive, so. The biggest part's gonna be gas for me. That's it, folks, from the barber shop. Unbelievable. We're doing it. We're doing it, just like I said over a year ago when I decided to close the shop and start making my way toward van life. And of course, wouldn't you know it, the whole flipping world's going crazy. And um, so I don't know what's gonna result. I don't know how I'm going to afford to keep going, but I'm one person. And uh, I'm just going to trust God and keep rocking. Keep rocking. Keep loving. Keep hope. Keep hope.
life.